Our attention has been drawn to an article on Channel's television written by one Onoshi Wabuku, whose photograph is on your screen, published by the Punch newspaper on Sunday, December the 3rd, 2018. The article is false, misleading, and a figment of the imagination of the writer and her sponsors. Contrary to the allegations made by Onoshi Wabuku, no video was doctored in the interview with the special advisor to the president, Mr. Femi Adishino, as she alleged. Channel's television has never doctored any video in its 23 years history and does not intend to do so now or in the future. Our political desk had invited Mr. Adishino for a live interview on November the 23rd, 2018. As it is customary, the web department posted a video on our online platforms during the program. In so doing, some parts of the video which were cut in bytes of 10 minutes overlapped during the upload and suffered a glitch. There was no motive on the part of the web department to hide anything as the program was already broadcast live in the first place and the remarks and question had already been tweeted by the channel's web department. Surely, if we had something to hide, we wouldn't have posted or tweeted the video at all. When channels was alerted of the glitch, the web department reposted the video immediately, and this has been up on our website and YouTube channel since Monday, November the 26th. We remain focused and will continue to hold government accountable, give opposition a voice, and make the citizens aware of their rights and responsibilities. Onoshi Wabuku obviously didn't understand the issues at stake, but chose to latch onto the suspicious, spurious, and unsubstantiated claims on the social media and proceeded to impugn our integrity in the said article. We will not hesitate to use all within our means to seek legal redress against anyone who chooses to malign or bring our media organization to disrepute. We thank all our viewers who have expressed their concerns about the article and assure that we will remain committed to our constitutional roles as the fourth state of the realm.